Hi, this is the Tropical Tip for Saturday evening, May 16th. As always, the thoughts in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, consult the National Hurricane Center and your local weather office. Well, this here is newly formed Tropical Depression 1. The National Hurricane Center considered this organized enough and tropical enough to call this a tropical depression just a couple of hours before this recording. A recon plane flew in here earlier today and confirmed what we can see on satellite, which is that there is now a closed circulation associated with this low that is centered right about in here near the southwestern edge of this clump of thunderstorms which for now is still kind of on the northeastern side, but closer to the center of this than it was yesterday. And uh, this is not strengthening quickly or anything like that. Pretty light winds right now, about 30 miles per hour at a maximum, been spreading some showers over the Florida Peninsula throughout the day from time to time. And if we take a close look at how the low-level clouds are moving, we'll note that there's actually a slightly elliptical shape to this circulation where it's still kind of elongated in this west-southwest to east-northeast direction. And the fact that this is still a little bit broad and a little bit uh, different from perfectly circular implies that it's still going to take some time here to tighten up and really strengthen very much um, over the next uh, short while. Now, eventually, it will likely be able to intensify a little bit uh, because given the water that's still warm enough to support some of these thunderstorms, uh, even as it moves northward, although the water will get cooler, these thunderstorms will continue to fire near the center, and eventually that will start to tighten up the circulation into a smaller space and probably allow the winds to come up a bit and allow this to strengthen into Tropical Storm Arthur, which will happen if it attains winds of about 40 miles per hour at a maximum on its way toward the northeast. If we take a larger view of this here, uh, we see that this one one of the reasons this is now being called a tropical depression is because we have this kind of more isolated clump of thunderstorm activity that is now sustaining this low pressure area a little bit separated now from some of this mess off to the east which is still associated with an old warm front that is sitting here and at this point may or may not still be attached to Tropical Depression 1 in any meaningful way, uh, but regardless, this is going to become more and more detached from what is now a standalone storm that is being sustained by tropical processes, that is, thunderstorms, more than anything else. And as this moves northeast again, we will have some opportunity for some intensification. Now, if we look at the water vapor loop here, for the moment, uh, there's fairly low shear. It's not zero, but we have a pocket of fairly light flow aloft uh, over the system, which is allowing the center uh, to be closer to these thunderstorms today. And we can see kind of this upper level trough kind of nestled in here. Um, over the southeastern United States. Now, as this comes northward, there have been a couple of changes or trends in the model forecast for how the flow is going to evolve near uh, TD1 over the next day or two. This is the GFS forecast from yesterday afternoon valid for Monday morning when what will be Arthur is positioned south of uh, the Outer Banks of North Carolina and take note of the position of this upper level trough over Lake Michigan and this upper level trough over the western Gulf of Mexico. And if we now go to the GFS run from today, this afternoon, valid for the same time, Monday morning, Arthur is still here by the way on the model, but the, ch the positions of these features has changed a little bit where this trough is now a little bit farther west, not over Lake Michigan, and the trough that was over the western Gulf of Mexico is much farther east now on the GFS. This has also been a change in the European model from yesterday. The result of this, if we just flick back and forth here, you'll see that uh, yesterday's run had a, a lighter, more southeast flow aloft over TD1 or future Arthur. Now today, uh, because this is farther east and this is a little farther back, we have a little bit more of a southwesterly flow opening up of about you know 20, 30 knots over the Carolinas in the upper levels during this time. So this implies maybe a little bit more shear acting on Arthur by the time it gets close to North Carolina. Uh, than was forecast just 24 hours ago. And this is some good news in the sense that it could be an impediment to significant intensification, but it's unlikely to prevent all intensification. And we are likely to see a gradually intensifying Arthur on closest approach or even a straight up graze with North Carolina. As in this southwesterly flow, it is going to come very close or if not over the Outer Banks prior to moving into the Northwestern Atlantic. And it's even possible that this tries to sneak up rather close to uh, the Delmarva and New Jersey and bring some 
uh, rough weather to this section of the mid-Atlantic coastline as well. It kind of depends on the position of this storm out over um, the Great Lakes and the Illinois Indiana region as some of the low level flow around this low that you can see here it may try to pull us a little closer to the coast depending on its exact position. That's been a subject of a lot of uncertainty in the model forecasts. Some get it close to the mid-Atlantic, some just take it straight out to the right over the open ocean. A little bit of uncertainty there, but right now what we can say is that this is likely to get quite close to, if not over the Outer Banks of North Carolina, so this portion of the state could see some rough weather. Now the good news is that the strong side of the storm is going to be the offshore side in terms of wind. As this uh, comes here, it's going to be moving northeastward fairly quickly. That means that the winds on this side of the storm are going to be the strong ones. The northwest winds on this side will be comparatively weak. But if the low tracks directly over, then yes, that right hand side with the strong winds will clip a portion of the outer banks. So much of the wind and surge impacts from any wind associated with this will determine on the exact track. And then of course we will have some heavy rainfall potential in here, but it's likely to be confined to the Outer Banks region of North Carolina given the current forecast. And it is possible that this tries to sneak just far enough offshore that the Outer Banks get nothing but a little bit of rain and very little wind or surge at all. So there is a range of outcomes here depending on just how far from the coast Arthur ends up tracking. This is the current forecast from the National Hurricane Center showing the expected track that is offshore right now and uh, would bring possibly tropical storm conditions to the Outer Banks and hence a tropical storm watch there in yellow is in effect. And again, there is some wiggle room here for exactly where that track is. It could be just over uh, the landmass there or it could be even farther offshore. So your range of outcomes is from sprinkles and no wind to heavy rains, um, strong winds and storm surge potential in uh, the sounds uh, there in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. So again, a range of outcomes. Just stay tuned to the forecast for the next day or so. This is going to be occurring on Monday morning and afternoon, by the way, up here. That's the timing. Um, and then again, it could potentially sneak far enough north to clip uh, the mid-Atlantic with some rough weather as well as it begins to weaken in the colder water. But for now, the official forecast is for it to stay well offshore of the mid-Atlantic. We'll keep an eye on that as well as those uncertainties in the forecast are still present today and things could change and we are used to them changing in the tropics that's the nature of the beast so we'll keep an eye on things that's it for now thanks for watching